people you are welcome to my channel thanks so much for your support your likes your subscription if you are watching me and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing today we are going to draft cut and sew eight pieces top or eight pieces cover so this is going to be a long video so please bear with me and watch and understand everything and we are going to make it princess bastia that i already have a video on how to cut princess bastia that but i'll just go over again so if you don't understand anything you can refer to that video i'll leave the link there you get more details there and this is just a basic uh, body draft so if you want to know how to draft your ba basic bodies too i'll leave the link there we already have a video i'm just trying to make this video a bit short not too long for it to be boring but this is a long video so i need to take my time so please bear with me okay so what i have here is my armhole measured my back measurement and drew my armhole there and your armhole is either you measure your client's armhole or your bust measurement you divide it by six then you add one and half to it and this is my neck width I, i'm using four for the neck width and the front neck i'm using six so then i did my uh, my round neck shape the line here is my shoulder to bust shoulder to bust then i added extra inch of half inch the shoulder to bust is 12 i added half to make it 12 and a half then this is shoulder to under bust 15 i added half to make it 15 and a half and this is shoulder to waist i added um half inch to it that is eight and i added half to make it 18.5 then this is my top length the cover length so this is it then i added the cover length plus one and a half inch or you can make it one inch i made it one and a half inch and that is okay and so what i have here this line here is my dart the dart i'm using is 10 10 divided by 2 is going to give me 5 so i marked 5 all through to the length here okay so at the under bust area i am going to mark here 2 inches for our princess bastia that i'm going to mark here 2 inches i will mark here also um, the waist area also 2 inches and i'm going to mark the same thing at the down here also two inches now let me get this how to determine the width of the fabric i use the hip measurement because this is the top length the hip measurement divided by four plus six inches so this is how i i did the calculation you can add more your hip measurement divided by four then you add more inches to it so we come to the this that is two inches down then when i come here under bust area i'm going to measure one inch one inch and i'll measure one inch also here and that is going to be straight down one inch straight down okay so i'll join the points here so don't forget this is two inches down So two inches and this place is one inch you can even make it half inch and that is also okay okay and so this is my bust point I will use my curve here turn it at the two inches area and then curve it this way to meet the bust point and then come to the one inch area and then join it to the bust point. So this is it. And I'll come to get the princess that I'm going to. This is the armhole that is 10. I reduced, I did a, a shoulder slope of one inch. So I'm going to divide this into two to get my front armhole. And that's going that is nine. So nine divided into two is going to give me four and a half. Four and a half. And I'm going to get my front armhole. So four and a half. I'll come here by half inch. 
And I'm going to use that to get my front arm hole. Okay, so I'll just place my cavity. You can use your hand to do that. And then, and then turn it here. If you watch the video on basic body drafting, you'll get all this as easy as cocoa. Okay, so this is it. I am going to place my measurements on it. Okay, so I have here three inches here. And so it means I have to add that three inches. The bust is 46 divided by four, and that's 11.5. And so I have 11.5 here. 11.5, I'm going to add my sewing allowance to it of 2 inches. And because I will join this, I will join this, so I will add 1 inch to it, making 3 inches. So that is going to be 1, 2, 3, 14.5. 14.5, okay. Then I'll come to the underbust area. The underbust area, the waist, I'm using the waist measurement for the underbust. The waist measurement is 44, and that's going to give me 11. And so 11 plus 3 is going to give me 15. And then the 15, I will, that is a 3, is a 3 inches here, 15. Then I'm going to add extra 2 inches to it. Extra 2 inches, and that is going to give me... 17 and so I have exactly 17 here 17 here exactly I'll place the same 17 at the waistline also I'll place the same 17 at the waistline also so I don't get any funny shape okay then when I come to the dress length area what I have here is 3 inches so I'm also going to place the same 17 or I'm going to add one inch to eight and that is the 18 and that's going to be exactly it and that is okay. So I'm going to join now. This is where the bust is going to be. But if I decide to follow this way, it's going to be a funny shape. You see? Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I am going to join it this way from the bust line. I'm going to use this to join it without considering this because after cutting everything and sewing, it's going to come back together very well. So I'm going to use this. It's very necessary that because this is eight pieces, you will cut it on your brown paper before you place it on the fabric and do the cutting. And so in the actual sense, this is where the bus point is going to be. So I'm going to use this as my armhole point four to measure for my princess that. So I'm going to divide this. I have 14 here, so it means I need 7. So I need 7. So this is 7. This is 7. The 7 is here. I'm dividing it into 2. So the 7 is going to be here. And then I'm going to measure half inch down here and then one inch up here one inch up here up here okay so half inch here one inch here that's how i'm going to do it so i'm going to join you have to join it to meet the bus point that is the middle straight down So I'll join this also to it. Okay, so this um, half inch, you can even make it one inch. You can make it one inch. In order to be able to join it equally, because we are going to cut this middle out. So in order to be able to join this and this together, we are going to extend this by 
one inch and so we're going to extend this line by one inch and that is here and that's going to be here so at the end of the day when we join this and this together it's going to meet equally and so we have it this way this is our princess that this one the paper is only one but let's imagine it is folded into two so when you cut it means you are going to get two for this place and you get two for this place also so this is it so when we join it's going to be like this Everything is going to be equal. So at the end of the day, let's assume we have two of this and two of this. When we place it on our fabric, we are going to get four of these for front. And we'll get four for back. So let's do the back now. Okay, so this is the back. And the back too, I've made my basic body parts. And the difference is that this, I added zip allowance to it of two inches zip allowance and this the armhole i didn't come in as i said when you watch the basic body pattern video you understand and i've marked out my shape in it already okay so what i'm going to do is the back two is going to be a princess that but that is not going to be a serious it's not going to be a bastia form and so i'll just measure here and then get whatever I have here. This is where the bust line hits. So I have 11 here. I'm going to me measure 5.5 here. 5.5. And then I'll measure half inch on each side. Half on each side. Okay, so this is it. Half on each side. And then I'll just use to curve it. To join and then curve here also to join so this is it but we, we we don't want it to be that pointed because we don't want any um, you see it is very pointed I'm trying to uh, make it straight so because this is just the back we don't want the place to be pointed so i'm just trying to go in here so that it doesn't become pointed so i'll cut here instead of here increase this side by just an half inch i'm going to increase it by half inch so that when i join it to this it's going to be equal okay now when i come to the waistline i'm going to mark half inch on each this is the waistline so you could see the back i didn't measure any but uh, shoulder to under bust no it's just shoulder to waist shoulder to bust and then the top length okay so i'm going to measure my half inch on each side half inch on each side half inch half inch okay so i'm going to join it to this just like the way we do our dots and then join this also Okay, so we are going to cut through this. Okay. I've marked out my shape using my allowance. So you see 10.5 here. I'm going to add a one inch here to it, and that's going to be 11.5. 
plus my 2 inches allowance and that's going to be 1, 2, 13.5 13.5 and then the bust point is 46, that's 11.5. I'm going to add 1 inch to join 12.5 plus 2 inches, 1 to 14.5. Okay. And then the hip area, 12 inches, 12 inches plus 2 inches, that is 14. Plus another one for the joining, and that's 15. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to cut on this, and then I'm going to cut this also. Okay. Okay, so I would have to draw this. This is going to be my main armhole. I would have to draw it. I didn't draw. this aside and cut this also. So this is it. This is even still pointed. I can decide to trim it a bit. I don't want the back part looking like um, mm -hmm. then I'm going to trim this off So this is it. When I join it, everything is going to be okay. We are going to place this on the fabric and cut. Okay, so I have folded my fabric into two and we are going to cut two. And so this is going to be the middle, two for the middle. Okay, and then what I have here, I'm going to add six inches on this side and six inches on this side also this inches includes my sewing allowance of half half inch and so you can make it five inch four inch or any inches that you want so i'm going to place this is six inches here and then i'll mark another six inches also here so this is it okay now this is the waistline this is the under bust and this is the bust so the waistline from the waistline i'm going to join it straight to meet the six inches here and 
and then from this six inches to is going to meet the waistline. Okay, so this is it for two. That is the front caps. So we have two for the middle. We are going to join this together. We are going to join this. This middle will join it. So if you want to add zip to it, maybe one zip in the front, then it means your zip allowance will come to the front. But I don't want zip this so we join this together this way and it's going to be like this you get it okay that part of the front also on a, a fabric and folded the fabric into two and i've pinned it so the side here this is the waist side and remember we have two inches allowance for um extra so what i'm going to do is we are going to add the six plus the two inches allowance and that's going to be eight and so when you are when you get to this side you need to be cautious so that's going to be eight so exactly on this that is eight then the side here this is the middle that will join to the middle part we are going to add our six to eight okay so this is it we have four another also We're going to be here you see mm -hmm. so we'll join it together close it on each okay so put this aside and then cut the back also And so this is it okay okay guys so this is it for the cutting i'm going to place this on a lining and cut for all use this for the sleeve i've joined this part and what i'm going to do is i will just add elastic band to it and it will gather and i'll make it in the cold shoulder form so that's what i'm going to do it unless maybe something comes here and i change my mind but for now that's what i'm going to do it so this i have the length here to be nine and then this i have 24 okay so this is what we are going to use for our sleeve okay guys so what i've done is i've cut lining for all of them 
each of them. This is what you are going to use for the sleeve. And the front parts, the middle front, I've also attached a stiff to it. So I'm going to attach the lining to each. And I'm going to attach it from here. This way. And sew on top, then give it a tough stitch. Okay, guys, so I'm done attaching the lining to it. So this is it. And then attaching. And the back middle to I have added a stiff to the neck area. Okay, the back and the front. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to join front together and then I'll join back together. This is how I'm going to do it. This is one part of the front. This is one part. And this is one part also of the front. This is the middle. This one goes with this. This is one of the middle part of the front. This one goes with it. So I'll just place it on it this way. Place it on it this way. Then I'm going to attach it from here, from the down here, this way. That's how I'm going to attach it. I'm going to attach it this way. Then I'll attach the lining to, to it this way. So that's how I'll do it. Now, when we come to the front part of it, I'll pick the front part and also attach it this way. This one too. This is the middle for it. I'm going to attach it this one, this way also. I'll pick the other side for it also that's the other side and also attach it in the same manner following the same thing with the back i will not join the middle because of the zip what i'm going to do is i will join it this way again all together and then i will put in elastic band and come and show it to you okay, so this is it this is the back I'm done joining and I've also joined the neck area also okay and this is the front I have also joined the neck area so when you open up you see um, the seam everything will be inside and the lining will cover it but um i'm going to show you something i did the front part this way i joined it this way but the back part i didn't do it that way i joined it this way so it means i'm going to knit this area you join it this way you are able to get it out very well get the eight corners out very well it stands out very 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 well see it stands out very well but with this i decided to do it this way and sh and show you something the difference you can decide to choose any of them which is okay with this one you don't get the eight pieces standing out very well the way you want it to be everything seems to come put together you don't really get it to stand out very well this method is very good when you are adding stiff to it then the stiff will bring it out well for you to see and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the side and side and then join it like the way I did for the back parts because the lining and the fabric are together that I'm that you join it makes it heavy and so it's able to stand out very well so I'm going to take the front part the side and side as for the middle i'll leave it like that i'll take the side and side and then join it like the way i have joined the back one okay so i'm also going to place my measurement on the back one then after joining i'll just 
um, join front and back together. So I'm using a bust of 46, which is 23. So I'll come here, 23. So I have three inches. I'm going to mark one and a half on each side. The waist, I'm going to make it 43, 44, 43, but I'm going to make it 43. And so 21.5, and I have one, two, three, three and a half. So I'll measure one and a half quarter on each side. And I'll come to the sides here. What I'm going to do is I'll measure what I have here. So this what I have here is um, 15 and a half. And so I'm going to place the same thing also here. So 15 and a half will be somewhere here. It means I added a lot of allowance to this. Okay, let me make it 16 here. Because if I take that two inches allowance from it, if I can join it here or here, can I join it here or here? But I just want this and this to be equal. Okay. So either this or this. So this is it. I have um, added like... um one and a half to eight. Okay, so I'll do the same thing here also. So I'm going to join front and back together after I'm done with the front one. I'll just take this and then pick this and join them. Pick this and join them this way. Then I will sew on half inch together. So I'll do that and come and show it to you for our eight pieces cover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the sleeve, and this is it. I've added the um, I've added the elastic band to it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, and I have also knit the whole thing. I have knit everything together okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to fix the sleeve like um, a cold shoulder type of a sleeve put this down and i'm going to i'm going to measure four from here four here yeah. then i'll just Place it this way. So on a half inch this way. See? And then I'm going to attach this also to this side. This way. Okay, so this is it. It's going to be like this. I'll fold this place. So you see, after sewing, I'll fold this place this way and either sew on top or hem it down side and side. I'm going to leave it like that. Then the upper part here, I'm going to fold it in and then hem it down. I won't sew, I won't use the machine to do I'll just do another work and pin it and hem it down and then do the same thing for the armhole area also 
in this way and hem it down with my needle okay so i'll do this and do the same thing for this side also then after i'm going to add a zip to it this is my zip area my zip also to it starting from here i'm going to sew it in the secret zip form so i just turn it this way see then i'm going to sew on top all through to the down okay guys so this is it with our dress our eight pieces top blouse or kaba yes so i've given it a zip also the sleeve you see mm -hmm. this is the front part mm -hmm. and i have secured the ends i have secured all these i've secured all of them and this place also i've secured it Please, if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video Let me share.